to dearly beloved people of God and the Iglesia Filipina Independiente. I greet you all the peace of the Lord Jesus and the happy celebration of the 119th proclamation anniversary of our beloved church, the Iglesia Filipina Independiente. I know that this greeting has come alive and reverberated in all corners of the world as we in the Iglesia Filipina Independiente assemble together today in our respective areas for worship services and for other activities in order to work and jubilate for this historic milestone in our history, life, and work as a church. We therefore say, Happy Proclamation Anniversary to all IFI leaders and members in the 49 dioceses here in the Philippines and in North America and in the organized congregations in Hong Kong, in Singapore, in United Arab Emirates, and in, in the United Kingdom. We come in unity today to thank and praise God that through His Son, Jesus our Lord, we are called to take part in His salvific work wrought in human history through these years. I know that we are humbled today to know how God in Jesus have accompanied us in our journey, which started from our lowly beginnings in 1902. And to be amazed to see how God, through His Spirit, has brought us together to become into such a large faith community over the years. With the passing of each year, we as a church seem to have grown older, but more so becoming stronger in our witness and more committed in our mission. Through thick and thin, our God in Jesus has been our source of strength, comfort, and hope. And we, church leaders and members from all over the world, have collectively been the rock that has kept the Iglesia Filipina Independiente together. On this anniversary of our founding, I would like to congratulate everybody in the Iglesia Filipina Independiente for standing firm in our faith, for being consistent with our history, for bringing forward our mission, and for carrying out our ministry in many and varied ways and forms. I thank you all for your years of service and may we all continue to strive to become a congregation of new men and women educated in and liberated by the teachings of Christ, dedicated to the worship of God in spirit and in truth, nourished and sustained in the Eucharist, and commissioned to be witnesses to God's love in the world. May we may all joyfully persevere in faithful discipleship and world witness amidst persecution and pandemic, cognizant of our calling for witnessing faithfully to God's love in Christ in every place and time in the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to emphasize here that the context of our celebration today is the persisting persecution and continuing pandemic. This celebration is the second in a row within the pandemic situation since last year. The persecution is rising through tyrannical rule beginning 2016. This context has indeed raised a lot of challenges and issues to our faith, worship, and mission. It has likewise challenged and endangered the health and life security of many of our members and leaders, especially those who are infected by COVID disease and being read down by government agencies and security forces. 
There were several too of our members and leaders who did not make through so far in this pandemic. We need to pray for them and commend them to God's loving care and protection. Even as we continue to dedicate ourselves to stand with and advocate for the struggling sectors in our society, especially the workers, farmers, fisher folks, urban poor, women and children, Lumad communities and Muslim people. They who are severely affected by the persisting persecution and continuing pandemic. In this celebration, we hope to renew our commitment to be their voice so that they may be heard. We need to show their presence so that they may no longer be invisible in our society. We have to manifest our solidarity with them by accompanying them in their struggle and journey for just, lasting, and genuine peace to prevail in our land, which is the highest form of our incarnation as a church. In celebrating our 119th proclamation anniversary, we need to remember and imbibe the truth in the words of one of the author and pastor who says, and I quote, The church is a living organism enlivened by the presence of God's Spirit. It is the body of Christ, a community of worshipers that exists for God's pleasure and to live out the kingdom that preach and that Jesus preached and promised. And go. It is towards this mission that keeps us in the Iglesia Filipina Independiente going for 119 years and counting more in the future because mission is our nature. Mission is our calling. Mission is our heritage as a church. As Iglesia Filipina Independiente, we live for mission and we thrive in God's grace because of mission. Our life, faith, and witness are fueled by God's Spirit, by His energy, and by the force of mission. Through the years, we have proven that it is our immeasurable joy to serve and to advance God's kingdom, and we have to keep it that way. And today, we are grateful to God for enabling us to participate in His mission that His Son Jesus inaugurated, and we are expected to continue this mission under the guidance of the Holy Spirit wherever we are and wherever we are called. And indeed, we have a lot to thank God for the work we have done in and for the sake of His Son, Jesus, and for the well-being of His people. We offer all these efforts unto Him today, including the two historic documents, which are fruits of our continuing dialogue and engagements with the Roman Catholic Church of the Philippines, and our desire to forge closer relationship and common witness and to advance further in obedience to the Lord's prayer that says that they may all be one. All this are brought together in the celebration theme of the 119th IFI proclamation anniversary that states, and I quote, Towards unity in prayer, perseverance in witness, maturity in faith, by equipping the saints, building up the church, and faithfully pursuing mission, unquote, as lifted from the Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1, verses 12 to 13. 
As we have said in our circular for this celebration, the theme projects for us in the Iglesia Filipina Independiente to go in the direction of achieving three major goals within this year and beyond. And that is A, embracing unity in prayer and worship. B, intensify our perseverance in, perseverance in witness. And C, enhancing our maturity in the faith for the purpose of further consolidation of ourselves as members of one body, the Church, the Iglesia Filipina Independiente. The theme likewise projects for us in the Iglesia Filipina Independiente to go into serious engagements with three particular major works within this year and beyond, and that is A, educational and nurturance programs, B, institutional and resource development, and C, mission and pastoral initiatives. In carrying all these goals and engagements, we are led to become a faithful worshiping community, a community doing a loving service, and an ecumenically and mission-oriented community. These are inevitable tasks that accompany our celebration and underpins the journey that brought us so far this year. And so in our celebration today, let us humble ourselves in prayer and commit to submit ourselves before God, praying that He, he endows upon us with all His grace and strength to abide in our continuing journey as church and in our insistent desire to be sustained in His faith and to be led into His direction. It is that that we really need. Cognizant of the words of another author who says, What, and I quote, what the church needs today is not more machinery or better, not new organizations or more and novel methods, but men and women whom the Holy Spirit can use men and women of prayer, men and women mighty in prayer. The Holy Spirit does not flow through methods, but through men and women. He does not come on machinery, but on men and women. He does not anoint plants, but men and women, men and women of prayer and God. And so we pray that this celebration may bring us to greater faithfulness to our mission and to enliven our participation to the Iglesia Filipina Independiente's life and work. May God bless us in this gathering and make us glad in the celebration of our life, faith, and witness. In an occasion of jubilation, in a time to praise and thank God for calling us into His mission, into His fellowship, and into His purpose. May we all grow in our continuing enthusiasm and persistent commitment to serve the Lord Jesus through His church towards unity in prayer, perseverance in witness, maturity in faith by equipping the saints building up the church and faithfully pursuing mission and may god keep us all in his grace